yet another interesting case. Uh, this is a very interesting, difficult, unfortunate case, uh, but just to show you how fast things can go bad in life and it's not always uh, related to trauma or something you do wrong, sometimes just random things happen. Uh, very sweet patient of mine, been with me for many years, uh, just kind of you know arthritic, neck, back pain type stuff, and developed really severe back pain, was admitted to a hospital, and they found that she possibly had an infection, but they never figured out exactly what happened. Um, looking at the image, this was done when she went to the hospital. Uh, this is the thoracic spine, which is the mid-back. Uh, this is looking at the side. Uh, bone, disc, bone, disc, there's a spinal cord coming down. These are actually two separate bones. And because of the process, and I believe infectious, uh, hit these areas, you can see the bones completely collapse and almost kind of merge with each other. And as that happened, you can see the spine jackknife and she has a huge hump in her back because her spine basically cracked uh, because of this issue. Uh, the other things that can cause stuff like this, you know, more commonly we see with osteoporosis. So as these bones get softer, uh, they can collapse and that can cause things to, to go forward. In her situation, that's not what's happening. And you can see these white areas. Um, and that to me is very concerning for a possible infection. Uh, where she's at right now, she's probably going to have to have biopsies of this area to see what's going on. And then once that's done, uh, then we're going to have to talk about how do you possibly correct this. Unfortunately, this is very difficult. The thoracic area is protected by the ribs, uh, but it would have to be some type of reconstruction of the spine to get her straightened up. Uh, but obviously you don't wanna do anything to you wanna make sure there's no infection. If it was a simple compression fracture, uh, we have a device right here. Uh, this is what we call uh, kyphoplasty. Uh, we have a drill where we actually drill into the bone. And then once inside that bone, uh, we insert a balloon and I'll go ahead and inflate it for you. You can kind of see. How it inflates. So as that balloon inflates, it pushes all the soft bones to the side. And then we have another device where we inject uh, concrete to make it hard again. Again, that's for people with osteoporosis, typical compression fractures. For something like this, you want to make sure infection is not there uh, because obviously you don't want to inject concrete in a bone that has an active infection. Uh, that would be a very bad thing. Uh, so again, I just thought this was an interesting case in terms of one day normal, one day not. And uh, her doctors are still trying to figure out exactly what happened. She's on very high dose uh, IV antibiotics. They've done spinal taps and uh, they just yet to find the reason uh, why she's had this infection and uh, hopefully the biopsy will uh, give us a better idea. Um, so, uh, but anyway, if you have any uh, interesting cases like this or family members with compression fractures, any of the bony abnormalities of the spine, I'd love to see them in clinic, review their images, give you my thoughts. I uh, appreciate your comments on this case and any others. And as always, uh, I'll continue to share my stories and uh, as long as you guys want to come in and watch. So I hope you enjoy this and talk to you soon. Take care.